So select this one and duplicate it. Move it to the side here. So leave the height the way it is. All you have to change is the width. Go to shape format. So this is what you just have to make change of. So we make this one to be 1.47. So we're gonna have something like this. Um, just make sure it's a bit closer. So now as you can see, I want to make sure it step off from the background a little bit. So right click and um, we can actually go with Ctrl 1 to activate this. So once we come here now under this particular effect, go to shadow. So from shadow, select this and select this particular, you know, offset center. So now it doesn't really some kind of look very fine. So we have to reduce the transparency to what actually suit us. Okay, I think uh, it's still a little bit too much. I'm gonna put it on 93. And this is actually cool. So I love something like this. So the question is this, what is gonna come here? So right here, I'm gonna get this one, duplicate it. So what we need to do now, just double click it and inside it, I wanna type in profit by, then I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. It's gonna fit in here. So nice. So I can do double it again. So double click inside it now. I'm gonna say customer age group. So customer age group. So we just have to make sure we reduce this a bit. Okay, I think it's gonna to be too small. So let us go with this. And I uh, have to make sure it pops a bit. So this one is gonna be here. So that is profit by customer age group. Very nice. So how do we create this? It's actually a simple something to be created. So let us quickly go back to analysis and um, I'm gonna copy this from here. So Ctrl C to copy. Then I come right here over a bit and drop this down. So what I'm gonna do now is contribute to paste it. So I'm gonna have to create a demarcation here. So come here and say border, you know, right. So that actually makes sure it's separated for me. Can we see? This start from here and uh, ended right here. And we're continuing something different right now. So we have a new pivot table already. So right click and activate the field list. So here we go. So what we want is not this. I want the profit. That is gonna be my gross profit inside the value area. So now we go to the customer table. All. So our customer lookup. So we just scroll down a little bit and we find the eight bucket. So we drag it in. So we have age group as well, if I bring it in. So it's the same thing. So you can either use the age bucket or age group. We actually use one, uh, we used if condition to actually create one. And uh, we use a um, switch to create, a, to create this particular one right here using DAX. So choose any one you wanna use. I just wanna go with this one here. I have this quickly. All I have to do now is just for me to make sure I Copy this again. So I'm gonna have this one right here. That is beautiful. So with this one here, this is what I want. Um, I'm gonna have to reference this top one and copy this down. So I just want to make sure this is gonna be my percentage of of gross profit, GP. So here we can use this, um, what do I call it? We can make it to be divide, or we can definitely, we don't have to do this, or uh, use the formula way to do that. So just right click on this one and go to show value as percentage of grand total. And that is all. So with that now we can reference this one here and that's exactly what it is. So we have gotten this one right here. So we are cool. So I am not really cool with this. I can just control one 
and reduce it no decimal so here is going to be percentage left so percentage left here so it's going to be equals 100 percent subtracted from this so that gives you a huge number don't worry we can control it so control one now i'm gonna put zero so here we go can you see what health we have now so this is where we're gonna have to start creating our chart from so we go here so i go to the top ribbon insert and i select this so we can just get this off we don't actually need this one we don't need this one as well so we can just reduce it a bit i'm gonna cut it off and uh, take it to my dashboard environment here so control v to have it pasted so we just have to make it not too huge as this and actually make sure it sits right here so just go to the top ribbon so go to format so here we're just gonna do 1.92 uh it's gonna be by uh, 0 0.88 so here we go so for this one here we can just reduce it a little bit that doesn't really actually consign what we have as the chart inside it so double click it to activate this and quickly we take off the fill and the border out of it so we click on this one and actually take off the line and that leaves us with something like this so which is pretty nice i'm gonna have it right here so for now i have to duplicate it and have the second one drag down then the third one i'm gonna duplicate it as well so i'm gonna have it right here so just select the three of them and go to the top ribbon go to shape format go to align and uh, align to the right that is good then we can just do this again and uh, distribute horizontally or you choose distribute vertically that gives you equal spacing between here and here so you get that so once we are done with this that is beautiful so we can just right click on this and select data and that takes us back to this particular part so we can now select this one here so click on ok so right click on this one as well and we can select this particular one then you click on um, click on ok so here we go so now how do we get to know which one we have to change its color so if i come here now you can see this is what we need this one we have to make it some kind of gray right so this is the one we have to use a particular color to identify you know which one is 0 to 30 31 to 50 and 50 plus so we have 50 here the left percentage is 49 so i'm going to identify where we have 49 right in so here's our 49 i'm going to make sure i double click it come right here if the color appears here i want to select this color that is the color i want to use for it so come here and select it come to this part remove this so automatically we are changing this one so be consistent with this color so select this one here so come right here we select this and we select this as well so we just have to select and go back here no line for it so we have this so the next thing again is for we to select this one so it is the high time to change the color we want to use for it i want to use this color and for this particular part here we go right back down so i want to use something like this then for this one here so we go all the way back here and now we can decide to use uh, a color that looks just like this so can you look at this now beautiful so the next thing to do is for me to actually get any of this one away from here i can just make it small where i can actually make sure it sits right into what i have here so with this you can come here and centralize it then from there i go right in here and bring in the percentage that is peculiar to it so that is 50 percent so with 50 percent we are good stretch it a bit open it up so control d to actually duplicate it have it in the middle 
control D and make sure you have it at the right spot. So we just want to select this one, go all the way down and uh, here we go. Select this one, go all the way here is 14. So as you can see, this is exactly what it is. So we can select the content inside it. So go to the top and change this one to 18. So from 18, we can change the font type to something like Cordial, you know, UPC. That is beautiful. So now it is time for we to match the color. So let me use this part here to actually get the color matched. So we get to use this one. So I'm coming here to change the color to this. So I'm as well coming here to change the color to this particular color right here, which is okay. So after we have done that, let us actually come here and drag this one down to this level here. So it is time for we to get in uh, the edge bucket. So the edge bucket is right there. So stretch it a little bit. So if I get this one for this, I'm going to get this one for this. So all I have to change now from 19 to 20. So 20, that gives me 31 to 50. So here's going to be 21. So 21, that is okay. So the same thing I've done, can just get this one dropped. So I'll just go all the way back to the top and uh, bring in the value that is peculiar to it. So all we want this time around is value. And I'm going to come here and select this particular one here and click on OK. So I don't like the way it is. I just want to make a custom value. So before we do that, let me quickly get this one. Oh, sorry. So select back again. So you drag this one down. Okay, really? It's okay. So you do the same thing as well for this particular part here. So we are changing this one from 11 to 12. We're changing this one to 13. That gives us the value that is peculiar to each and every one of them. So we're going to actually have to do some kind of conditional formatting right here. So with my control one. So here we are. So I'm going to go to custom. Take this off. So we're going to create a custom number formatting here. So right here is just like an if condition. I don't know how to tell you this, but... Um, what we're going to do is just to use this particular square bracket here. So let me make it very close to the screen. So with this square bracket, I'm going to say why it is less than 999,950. So once you've done that, you close the square bracket. So that gives you a very huge number. Don't worry about it. So you use your zero, you just do 0, 0.0 and you do this. That actually, you know, uh, make the numbers to disappear. Nothing is showing up on the sample. Don't worry about it. So now I'm going to have to use my double quotation with capital letter K. We close that, right? So now we have it. So the next thing now is for we to use this. And we're going to specify the next one, which is going to be our million. This is actually give us thousand number formatting. So for million now, the same square bracket. So where it is less than 9999, then you're going to do 5, 0 into 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you will close the square. It's going to be 0, 0.0. Then it's going to be two commas. So it's going to be two commas. So after the two commas now, um, close it. Then another one that we come here now and specify 0, 0.0 here. Then we do one, two, three, which is going to be three commas. Double quotation B. And now we don't need to close anything. So let's come back here. This is supposed to be comma. So that is comma. So we can see it better. So in case you can't see it very well right here, I'm going to copy this. I want to go to my notepad. So I'm going to go to my notepad. 
So I'll put my notepad and paste it inside notepad for you to see. So here is what we have done. Can you see it on my notepad now? Can you see this? So exactly. So minimize it. I'm going to click on OK. That actually helps me to actually get it formatted. If I go back to my dashboard now, I should see something very, very much more interesting. You see this? So this is exactly what it is. So in case you're actually struggling with this kind of number formatting, today you've just learned how to do number formatting that will switch from, you know, thousand to million to billion. This is exactly how you should do it. So nicely done, right? So I'm going to have to open it up a bit in case I have it in thousand. It's going to show up. So we come here now and take this to the top and open it up a bit. So make sure you align it. So you do the same thing to this one as well. So you just open it up. So you just take your time to actually get this adjusted, you know. So I'm going to have to select all of them and contribute to bold it. That is going to stand it out. So the next thing I do now is for me to select this one and go to the text, come here and select this color. So I come right here, I'm going to select the color, this color again. So I'm going to come here again and select this particular uh, color for it. So um, what I'm going to do now is quickly go to the top here and select this particular find and select. So go to select objects. So if I select this part now, now let's select this for me. I can right click and actually go ahead and group it. That would definitely make me to be able to select this alone and uh, just set it up the way I like. So you can just do the selection. You go for group. So just um, adjust it the way you like, just like this. So select this one, right click and group it. And here you go. So you can select all of them at the same time. So you go right here and uh, do your normal settings the way you really like it. So this is a good tool uh, to be used. Just come here and you pick it up. So now to actually drop it off. So just go and click on escape. That gives you back this particular selection with cross. Beautiful. So guys, this is exactly what you should do right here to have this created. Remember, we can actually do this something like um, when you select this, you can create a chart that looks just like this but it wouldn't be as beautiful as what we've just done now. So can you see this? If I go to the legend, I actually get the legend to the bottom. And uh, I even turn this off right now. So now we can make it as small as it is that we want. Uh, we take it down to our dashboard. So bring it down here. So paste it. So no matter how we try to fit it into this part here, so it's definitely not going to be very, very cool. So I don't really like this, specifically when you want to actually add your data label right on it. So the way it's going to look like it doesn't look so well. So we have to actually customize it to make sure it looks much more appealing and people can be able to read through what we have inside it. So 0 to 30 of age. So we have 8.8 .8 million, you know, as profit from this age group. And from this age group, we have 6.1, we have 2.4, and that is beautiful. So can you see this now? So you can now see how to create a custom chart, you know, in Excel.